We are following up on a scary situation out in Ontario County where a woman in her 80s was fortunately rescued and successfully after being stuck in a well in her own backyard for nearly two hours. This happened on a home on LaRue Road in Manchester. Isabel Garcia spoke with the rescue team at the helm of the coordination efforts and brings us this report from Clifton Springs. The 84 year old woman reportedly slipped and fell into the well, which sat in her backyard while searching for a lost pet. Clifton Springs Fire Department volunteers were first on scene. That agency among the nine in total responding in what became a coordinated effort to successfully get the woman out of the well. First responders estimating the woman was down in the well, hand dug lined with stone for about two hours. Wayne Conklin is the first assistant chief with Clifton Springs Volunteer Fire Department and was leading all of the coordination efforts Sunday afternoon. The woman had been in the well for an estimated 45 minutes before first responders arrived on scene and a challenge Conklin explains was the need for measured urgency. It was a delicate situation requiring specialty responses in order to not add risk to the woman or responders and complicate the situation. Conklin explains responding agencies rely on each other's areas of expertise during these types of rescues. Canadagua Fire able to utilize its rope rescue equipment and get a tech down to the woman, but the challenges persisted. One of the things we didn't find out until after we had an individual in the hole was we assumed at the beginning that she was standing at the bottom of the well um, and that the water came up to about waist high on her. Not until we lowered a, a technician in there to, to initiate that rescue did we determine or find out that that water was actually much deeper than that, which we don't know how much deeper that was, um, because she was actually holding on to uh, the well water pump piping that was in that well. Again, all the fire officials say that the woman is reportedly okay, just some minor scrapes and bruises. She was taken to the hospital for evaluation and monitoring. For now, reporting in Clifton Springs, Isabel Garcia, News 8.